Hi, I'm Crystal Hart and welcome to the show. We're in New York City where light heavyweight champion Bernard Hopkins and former champion Chad Dawson held a press conference to discuss their upcoming fight, which will take place Saturday, April 28th at Atlantic City Boardwalk Hall. This is the rematch, it's 12 rounds, and it'll be broadcast live on HBO World Championship Boxing. What's Hopkins have to be angry at? His, his record shows, his record shows Chad's never lost a point in his whole career, ever. Look look at Bernard Hopkins' record. He wouldn't do a face-off. You know why he wouldn't do a face-off? He can't look Chad in the eye. He knows he fucking faked that injury. But when he got in front of the HBO camera, he stood there for 40 minutes talking shit. Mm -hmm. he, he knows his injury. I mean, if, 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 he, if he has any type of injury, it's still there. Because, look, I, I, in June of 1999, I had a, a severely strained rotator cuff, rotator cuff in a fight. There's no way in the world six months later I was fighting. There's no way. And, and his injury is supposedly much more severe than mine. So, uh, based on that, I think his injury at the, sure. at the best is exaggerated. Because there's no way, if you told me, uh, I mean, I got, I got hurt in June... And I remember July, August, September, October, four months later, I was in Florida and I fell off a jet ski. And the pain was so intense that I was literally screaming underwater before I came up to the surface. That was four months later. And my injury wasn't as bad as Hopkins supposedly was. So I don't see how he could have been as hurt as bad as he was. And now he's fighting in April. I, I doubt that. Hey, Mike, you said that you just heard, or they said in the back room, as you said, parenthesis, back room, that they said that I faked it in the back room. Then let this stay in the back room. The back room is the back room is never good. The back room, shady stuff. Listen, let me give you a hint. This is Philadelphia, like New York City. You know, a lot of hustlers out there. When you step out of here, be careful. Watch your wallet. Put it in. Put it in your crouch. I'm, my hand is in my wallet right yeah, now. You better. You're in New York. Yeah. When when you when you in the back room and guys say things to you, it's always been said by them. It's always been a ruling on it. It's already been dot set by every commission that needed to be there in LA. Also, also the WBC, also the referee that was in the ring. And then you, you know, come out of the back room. But there's a reason why they're in the back room. Well, well that's, he, I think he gets that. Well, at least I hope he do. Because <laughs> Kelly put him there. Uh, listen, no, but listen. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, where are we Let's going? Leave him in where, the back where, listen, <laughs> where, 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 why are we? That's why I didn't say anything on the podium like all your incident anticipated me saying. Oh, I know Bernard going up there. See, I'm always having people think they know me better than I know me, especially white people. And so what I'm saying to you is that I'm telling you right now, it wasn't nothing to say up there because when I seen where the promotion was going and my promoter, my CEO, he didn't get into the ruling. He didn't get into with LA and, and, and with the referees. He didn't get into that. He kept it while we're here now. Exactly. Once and for all. Right? Here's I can't Where, entertain that. Yeah. So so once I seen that that dictates, I didn't know what I I knew I was coming up there to speak until I heard that's why I like people to go first. And I heard how the landscape was laid out for me. So I wait till it get all laid out for me, and I pick what I'm going to use, and I come up there and I speak. But when I heard that, I said, I can't. I, I can't. Richard didn't know I was going to do that. He didn't know I wasn't going to speak. But when I seen the landscape, that called experience in a veteran, how everything was being played out and how everything was being said. You know what I said, Richard? Let's end up the back room. The best thing to say? Nothing. nothing. They said it all. All said is done. He's got the problem. He's got the. He always tries to get another fight. He said, "You notice today he didn't say a goddamn word, not a word." And at the at the um, weigh-in in California, and Chad said, "You know, I'm going to beat your ass." He just turned around and walked away. He's in with a bigger, stronger, faster man, and he knows it. I do want to say one thing, Richard Schaefer, and I have a lot of respect for him got up here and said, Hopkins wants this fight. Mm -hmm. When I said it was the WBC that ordered it, he said, they don't make fights, Hopkins wants it. That's not true, that's disingenuous. Because Hopkins without a belt is just an old broken down fighter. With the belt, he's the oldest fighter to ever defend the belt or possibly win the fight. 
or, or win the belt. Right now, think of it as a runway. You got an old broken down plane on a runway, nobody else can take off. Chad has got to clear the runway. And once he clears the runway of that old broken down plane, then everybody's going to be in the sky flying. What I got to do to show that I don't have to talk to win a fight. You win fights by fighting. You win fights by fighting. And so I'm not going to come and tell you about what happened with the ruling. Richard didn't even bring it up. He had the opportunity to bring it up because he was the first speaker. Because that's not what we're here for. And know what? Whether who's wrong or right, you're fighting again. So why waste your time with the BS? Why come and, 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 and talk talking about what letter, this letter? They looked at the film. The film set me free, not my comments, not Richard's comments. What they seen, think they did me a favor? No, oh, they did the right thing. Because the right thing wasn't done that night. And the referee, he has to say to himself, and he should pat himself on the back, because I, I told him that was commending of you because you could have stuck to your guns. But once you've seen the tape in L.A., he said this should be a no decision, he said. We talking about no contest up here. Matter of fact, it was ruled a no decision. Check it. That's different than a no contest. No decision, there's nothing there. There's a blank there. We didn't even fight. So I could have said that on the podium, but why waste your time? What I really believe, he couldn't look Chad Dawson in the eye face to face because he knows that he pussied out of that fight. He knows he didn't have a real injury, and that's why. So he didn't, he didn't do it. He didn't talk. But when he got in front of the HBO camera, he stood there for 40 minutes talking shit. Mm -hmm. I've changed over years in boxing. I don't stare anybody down that close unless I'm going to kiss him. And I ain't kissing Chad Dawson. So that's why they stare down. You can, again, whatever he says, he says. I didn't do a stare down, okay. I don't think he deserved a stare down with me. Matter of fact, he said he didn't want to give me a title shot when he thought he had the title. You remember that? So now I'm doing him a favor, but I'm a spanking while I'm doing him a favor. I didn't have to fight Chad Dawson. But and when they used to get up there and get to talk and all that and feed into that, they expected me to do that, so I do the unexpected. It's like the fight. They expect me to be one way, and I'm going to do another thing to them. And I'm not playing mind games. This is the way I feel. I'd rather have a sidebar press conference and let you know if you got questions to ask, I'm willing to ask. There's nothing towards you. And we ask them.